Hello, this video is for the Sunseeker by Porsche River to the model number 2300 featuring a Ford E350, a E450 Super Duty uh, engine. Uh, we have electronic steps as you enter in, just simple open the door. There is two different locks here, one's for a deadbolt, one's for the latch stuff here. As you enter in here, the very first things that we have here is our main power. So this shuts all the 12 volt to the um, motorhome itself, including the refrigerator, lights, everything. It does not shut off the anything for the engine. So you can still start the engine. Long periods of time, you turn it off. We turn that on. Um, we've got a couple lights here. One is for uh, our light up overhead, and the other one is for an uh, under step light there. And this here is for our um, for our uh, awning make sure everything's clear before extending that out uh, if there's damage due to wind and uh, misuse of all that there it's a minimum of $1,500 damage on that as we enter in also we have a uh, um, just simply like that an extender for our motorhome as a general overview, overhead bunks, cabinets, bathroom bed, and our kitchen. Each one of these here has a switch for your lights, hot water, cold water, your stove. You simply uh, take these and turn them on. And then you take this light switch here and that lights your burner and you just turn it off there with that. Fan, microwave only works when the generator is powered on and to control all of that over here on the right side we have a, a control unit there uh, if we take these buttons here lp says full battery says two-thirds at this time fresh water is one-third black which is just your toilet water and then the gray is sinks and the shower both are empty at this time um, that's your hot water heater that works on um, uh, propane, your water needs to be on so that your um, faucet, shower, faucet, and toilet works, which will pump out of the uh, holding tank in there. These are two overhead lights switches. And then on our generator is to simply press that until it starts up and away we go. Apparently there's 98.7 hours on this generator. Uh, generator just typically uh, powers the microwave. The refrigerator does switch over from propane to uh, 110 when the generator is running, and it also powers any outlet things and charges the batteries. Uh, the generator does not need to be on uh, when you use all the lights and stuff. Light usage needs to be uh, conserved due to uh, you'll run down your battery. Also, the generator runs the air conditioner. And then you've got your air conditioner vents that's overhead on each one of these here. Uh, the unit also has a heater uh, if you're in cold climates and the thermostat for that and the air conditioner is just right there. Simple operation there with it. Your back beds, you've got cupboards all the way around, lights, emergency exit uh, with the blinds. Please try to use two hands on those at all times. We got a sink here. We keep um, uh, toilet paper, and there typically is uh, stuff for the toilet that's in there, as well as a um, cupboard with uh, some other things in there. Toilet operation and those things. Uh, there's our uh, uh, septic. If you drain the septic, that needs to be put back in. There's a lever down here. You just simply push it down to open up the valve. And if you pull up, we don't have the water pump on at this time, so I'm going to turn the water pump on. Turn that on. When I do that, um, I pull up the lever, puts water into the bowl. Do your business, and when you're done, you flush it. Toilet paper, scrubber, uh, simple shower uh, operation. Your hot water needs to be turned on a minimum of 15 to 20 minutes before you use the hot water. It takes that long to heat the water up. 
once you're done with the tank, turn it off, conserve electricity or your propane on that one. Shower door needs to be traveled in the closed position with a simple Velcro on that, as well as when you take a shower to close that also. Best to travel with the door latch, otherwise it'll bang all around and cause damage and stuff. Simple coat closet in here. Uh, bed operation, it's just very simple. These come up, this lever latch here comes down and the bed comes down. So you have it going the wrong direction. And then the cushions, sorry about that. Flipped it all the way around. <laughs> uh, the cushions here, actually I've got it all the way around again. Sorry about that. Cushions here come up and then that goes down. Up here we ask anytime you enter and exit the top bunk that you use the ladder. Don't step here, it damages this for future times and it just causes a lot of problems. This goes and stores when you're driving up here. And then you can also flip this up. This here is a privacy screen that goes on to these Velcro things that's uh, placed around here on there. Fire extinguisher, basic general Ford operation on that. You have a DVD uh, player, 12 volt. You can watch that. It's a privacy curtain on that. As we go outside and look at uh, the things, we got propane here. It needs to be filled back up after your usage. You turn full. Outdoor plugs only works when you are generator on or shore power plugged in. This is where you fill your water into the tanks. This is what you would pump out for your shower, sinks, toilets, all that. So you just put a hose inside there, fill it till the water comes out and you're done there with that. So it's very simple filling the water. You have a storage compartment here, quite large, goes from all the way across with another door there. Water hoses are here, leveling blocks, some filters there, uh, some more leveling blocks and a doormat there. It's very important to keep all your doors closed and travel it will tear them up. In this compartment here is going to be your sewer hose and I'll show you more on the other side. Please don't let anybody go onto the roof. More storage there, spare tire there. No towing on that. Your storage hose for your sewer goes in there and uh, put that back on, light goes there. Your electrical cord is here. This is for your 110, uh, it could be a 30 amp uh, type of plug. If they don't have this type of plug where you're plugging in, then you use this adapter to plug it in there. You're about a 30 foot cord there, plug it in. You can use then everything 110 and you will not need to use the generator. Uh, this compartment here is where you dump your uh, your sewer water and your shower sink. So the big pipe here is called the black water. And this one here, a small pipe, is called gray. Uh, toilet, shower, and sinks. You'll take that hose that's in the back. You'll connect it to there underneath this thing here. Open up your black. Wait for it to um, audibly stop draining. And then you'll pull this valve. Don't want to do it now because there may be stuff in there. And then you pull this valve, let it all flush out, push both of them back in, take your hose off. The only one you're dumping is a going to be a hose to where you drain your hose uh, and clean it, dump it back in the sewer. Please don't dump it on the roads or anywhere else like that. And then you'll put the hose back in the compartment there. Make sure that's on. Here's where you put the gas in. It is on the driver's side. Uh, unleaded tires. Um, this is a battery compartment. No need to access that for anything. Uh, and this one here is going to be generator. No need to access that for anything else uh, along the road there with it. Um, simple mirrors. Your overall height is 11 feet. Be careful on turns. People damage this side of the motorhomes very easy, as well as the turn, uh, the tails of it. In gas stations, parking lots, those things, look out for basketball hoops, trees, branches from damaging the site or the front on all of that. You will be responsible for any damage that's put upon those things uh, with it. Um, way it goes out, we would like to see it come back that way. 
um, and hope you enjoy and have a nice time in the Sunseeker by Force River. Uh,